here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> Whatever, I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The sisters were enraged when the corporate lackey revealed his secret, but there was no backing up now. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket you ship. Had yourself a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there, were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, the salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the gun artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gortis component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salaryman everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? Put them in one of the cells for questioning. me at one of the security checkpoints. We're here to see shot Pony! Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it. Where's Reese? That asshole electrocuted me and ran. So as you can imagine, I'm really looking forward to finding him. He's your president now, didn't you hear? Why don't you tell us? We're not leaving here until I start getting some answers. What the hell is that? you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it, because you killed a lot of people to get here. But listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you basically just become a god. Limitless power, sweet office. So, what's the catch? The catch was that you had to kill like a hundred people to get here, and you did that, kid, because you are a badass. Look, let me just, you're done with catches now, all right? There are no more catches for you for the rest of your life, ever. If you want something to happen, it's just gonna happen. That's what power feels like. You know, we had our rough patches, you and me. But when the chips were down, you did the right thing. I respect that, Reese. 
But enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. And you gotta project power. You gotta project vision. But you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. That's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reese. Here, given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Which one's it gonna be? Let's blast a bandit camp. I love it. Great to know all your time down there hasn't turned you into a psycho lover, kid. You know what? i tell you what. Let's target... Prosperity Junction. Oh, wait, wait, what? Target locked. No, 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 no target locked. Prosperity Junction is not a bandit camp. <laughs> Close enough. Fire it! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, chill out. It's fine. Wasn't a big mortar. Worst case, maybe we killed half a dozen dudes. Hey, wait, wait. Who, who cares? It's small time stuff. You, you really gotta see this next project I've got prepped. <laughs> Uh, you said he never finished it. Yeah, I know I lied, but that was before we were partners. Anyway, we're gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it so I'd be wearing my old body, like a skin suit. It's great, right? Uh, that's insanely creepy. I know, right? But in a fun way. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing me first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle. Grab the corpse, shove an endoskeleton into it, boom, another jack. Some asshole gives you lip, boom, jackpot. Successfully wipe out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks. Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best looking fighting force in the universe. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient. Huh? And now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. You're an absolute psychopath. Yeah, I mean, I, I think some naive part of me wanted to believe you were just misunderstood, but no, no, you are the worst person I have ever met. And I met a guy who cut off another guy's face and wore it on his face! Uh, detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. How we just mortared a bandit camp together, really? If I'm being honest, backing out after you guys had your fun, huh? kind, of a, kind of a dick move. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time, but you know what? Knowing how you feel now just makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. To matter for once in your useless little life. You know what, Jack? Suck it. Oh, hell no! <laughs> We need to go. Yeah, not an option. We still don't have the beacon. Well, that's convenient. Reese, 
He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. No one promised anyone anything. No, it's... You don't know what's going on. We said we'd meet him here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, sometimes things are complicated. Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hang our base this way. Do you know what you'd be right now without me? <laughs> Nothing! Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it, you ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Vaughn, they're all dead. And once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh bots. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb. Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's... that's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Well... Reese, we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay door's just locked tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's... awesome. Okay, uh... I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute... to get my ribs. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. You're not doing shit. That? Well, hello, Yvette. I can't believe you shocked me, asshole. After all we've been through, little prick. Whoa, 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 whoa. You betrayed me, remember? I never had you electrocuted. Wow, wow, we're just <laughs> really hung up on that specific act. What, what about you trying to kill me? You're never gonna make it. Get used to that idea. Cool, cool. I'll just put that in my back pocket. It was really fun catching up with that. Have a great life being an awful person. Okay, bye. Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby, and I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. You remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the less handsome guy? Well, he's just done so freaking well in his new job that I'm just gonna... Hey, you idiot. You look like the kind of moron that hangs out with middle management. Do you know where Reese is? I, uh, is he the one with the glasses? Oh, yes, let's... <laughs> Time to go. Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh-eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday, I want to live on a nice planet. Good luck with that. Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. 